Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to use Newton Raphson's method to find the root of the given equation log x base 10 equal to 1.2. Let's write f of x by taking all the terms to one side. So f of x equal to log x base 10 minus 1.2. I have to get two x values so that f of x value changes its sign. If I take 1, log 1 is 0, I am getting negative. But log 2 and minus of this still negative. So I have to go for higher values. Log 3 still 0.477 minus 1.2 is negative. So 4 log of this again it will be negative. Then 5 log of this it will be again negative. Then let's go for a higher value 10. So log of this is 1. 1 minus 1.2 is still negative. Let's take 15 log of this. So now this minus 1.2 minus 1.2 is still negative. So I have taken log 15. Now let's take 16. So log 16 then minus 1.2 I am getting positive. So the two values for which f of x changes sign is 15 and 16. So this is log 15 base 10 minus 1.2 and f of 16 is log 16 base 10 minus 1.2. Let's write the value here. Let's calculate again. So we need 15 log of that value minus 1.2 minus 0 0.02 when I round off it will become 24 or when I take 2 decimal minus 0 0.02 minus 0 0.02 then coming to the next value 16 so log of that value minus 1.2 this is positive 0 0.004 so we got two values of x for which f of x changes from negative to positive. It means the root lies between these two values. So we can say the root lies between 15 and 16. And among these two values, when we take the modulus of f of 15 and modulus of f of 16, we find modulus of f of 15 is greater than modulus of f of 16. So the root is closer to the 16. Now we are going to write the Newton Raphson's formula f of n plus 1 is sorry x of n plus 1 is xn minus f of xn divided by f dash of xn where f of x is from the question it is log x base 10 minus 1.2 and f dash of x is its derivative log x derivative is 1 by x but this is base 10 when we use logarithmic formula log x base 10 can be rewritten as log x base e divided by log 10 base e. So this part we have differentiated as 1 by x but the denominator is a constant it will stay as it is. So let us keep that in the denominator itself 1 by log 10 base e and there is another log rule when we have log a base b when we take reciprocal it become 1 by log b base a. If we see it in the reverse way, when the term from the denominator comes to numerator, the base number and the log number interchange. So, this once again we can rewrite it as log e base 10 divided by x. And log e, this value using calculator, we can take the value of e, that is e power 1. This is the value of e. 
and we need log of this 0.43429 so we shall round off to 0.434 so this is 0.434 by x then after this let's take x not as 16 because we found the closer value is 16 and let's find x1 now x1 is x not minus f of x not divided by f dash of x not so this is 16 minus f of x not is log 16 base 10 minus 1.2 whole divided by its derivative we got it here 0 0.434 divided by 16 now let's use calculator and get the value first thing the numerator let's open a bracket we have 16 log of that minus 1.2 close a bracket divided by again the denominator we have fraction so let's open a bracket 0.434 divided by 16 close the bracket after the whole division we have minus of this so 16 minus this i do the reverse when we take minus 16 i'm getting the opposite sign since i have taken the reverse order ignore the minus sign and take only the values so this value let's copy here so this will be we don't need this minus let's round up to two decimal places or we take four decimal places so one two three four so we remove all these numbers so this is our x1 now in the same way let's calculate x2 x2 is x1 minus f of x1 divided by f dash of x1 so this is 15 minus 8481 minus log of 15.8481 base 10 minus 1.2 whole division 0 0.434 divided by 15.8481 once again we take calculator and evaluate this so we have 15.8481 log of that minus 1.2 so we have this entire value now this division open bracket 0.434 divided by 15.8481 bracket close and minus of this 15.8481 minus of this let's do the opposite minus 15.8481 I have done the reverse of this. So, ignoring the minus sign, I will take the positive value rounding up to 4 decimal places. So, we got 15.8489. In the same way, let us find x3, which is x2 minus f of x2 divided by f dash of x2. So, this will be 15 minus 8. 4 8 9 minus log of 15.8489 with base 10 minus 1.2 whole divided by 0 0.434 divided by 15.8481 now coming to the calculation part we take calculator here 15.8489 log of that minus 1.2 we got the numerator part divided by 
bracket open 0.434 divided by 15.8489 let's see in this this is 15.8489 then bracket close and we have to subtract this value from 15.8489 but I am doing the opposite so minus 15.8489 since I have done the opposite, I have to ignore the minus sign and I have to take the remaining numbers rounding up to 4 decimal places. So, we are once again getting the same value. This is our x3, 15.8489. Even x2 is also 15.8489. So, we get x2 equal to x3 equal to 15.8489. You can say the better approximate root is 15.8489.